How you guys doing? Welcome back to Tuna Tech. Today, got a little bit of a surprise for you. All right, so I've opened up plenty of these phones. This is a company called Xiaomi. This is the 12S Ultra. What sets this apart from other phones is the 50 megapixel one inch sensor from Sony that is in this phone, which is one of the first phones to actually use that sensor. It's also a sensor Sony has used in some of their point and shoot cameras. So we all know with the size of a phone, it won't be as great, but it's still an interesting proposition and what I've seen online, the pictures look pretty good, especially that natural bokeh effect from a larger sensor. So, before we get into it, some things you need to know. It's a 6.7 inch phone, 3200 by 1440 pixels, 20 by 9 aspect ratio with a 521 ppi. It's an AMOLED screen with 120 hertz refresh rate, and it goes to about 1500 uh, knit brightness. I'm guessing that's a max brightness not all the time. It also has Gorilla Glass Victus. Uh, for the chip, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. This is one of a few handful of phones that actually uses this chip and it's uh, the upgraded version from the 8 Gen 1. So from early results that I've seen, the benchmarks are pretty good, especially the GPU and it's more efficient than the last one. It has the Adreno 730 and 8 gigs of RAM, but you can also get a 12 gig of RAM version or uh, with 256 memory, or you can do 512 gigs of RAM with 12 gigs of memory. This is the 12 gigabyte 256 RAM version of this phone. It's running Android 12 with their skin uh, over top. It's got a 4860 milliamp hour battery, and it does fast charging. Qi Qi wireless charging and reverse charging. It does 67 watts wired and 50 watts wireless, but keep in mind, you guys, with these Chinese brands, the wireless charging is gonna require a special charging unit that you have to buy and import. This phone is a Chinese phone. It is, does not have a global release as of yet, and I don't believe they were gonna do a global release of this phone. So before you go out and try to import this phone, make sure you're aware that while this place that this phone came from pre-installed Google Play. It's going to have some Chinese uh, language issues. It's going to have some weird apps pre-installed and some things just may not work because it didn't have Google Play out of the box. And in addition to that, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, your carrier may not work. Now in my experience, AT&T and Verizon will not work with any of these phones. T-Mobile is kind of hit or miss, but you usually don't get 5G. So just Keep that in mind, do your research, make sure you check the bands and with your carrier to make sure it works. Um, again, going back to the, the prime issue with this, the, the prime reason for buying this phone is the camera. It's got a quad camera setup, co-engineered by Leica, so it's gonna have the Leica lenses, Leica software touches and stuff like that. The main camera is a 50.3 megapixel, optical image, optically stabilized, laser PDAF Sony IMX 989 one inch sensor. So that's the main selling point. It's also got, for the secondary camera, it's got a 48 megapixel telephoto slash periscope camera, which does an optical zoom of five. So not too shabby, no S22 killer here. Third camera is a 48 megapixel ultra wide. So it does all the things that most phones have, but you're supposed to be stellar cameras. It does uh, 8K at 24 frames, 4K at 60, and, and Full HD at 1920 frames per second. It's IP68 uh, water resistant. It's got an in-screen in fingerprint reader. And it's also got an IR blaster, which is pretty normal for these Chinese brands. It's got two speakers. It uses the second, the second speaker as the earpiece. Um, and it does Bluetooth 5.2, wireless charging like we said, Type-C, NFC, and infrared like we said again. Now enough with the specs. Again, this is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. It was announced on July 4th for the Chinese market and I have it here in America to kind of test it out. Now this has already been opened. I couldn't, 
I got some help from a, a fellow YouTuber as well as couldn't keep my hands off it and they tore it open pretty quick. I haven't turned it on yet, so hopefully it'll work with T-Mobile so I can test it out. But as you can see here, co-engineered with Leica. You got the Mi branding there. They don't do the Xiaomi Mi 12S anymore. It's just Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So we're gonna get this box open. Before I chop my fingers off, let's move the knife out of the way. You got the engineer by Xiaomi case. Now this usually has yep, some injection tool and it's got your books and a cheap, should I say cheap, just a basic plastic case. Now again, people always say, why don't American companies do this? Or I shouldn't say American, but phones that are more expensive like the Apple and the Samsung's because those phones are more popular and there's more readily available cases online like an Amazon, eBay, whereas these Chinese companies know that there's so many of them out there that it's just easier to, to include one so you don't have to worry about it. So still a nice touch to see that in the box. As you can see, the wrapping's been pretty tore up, but we'll get to that in a second. You've got a 67 watt charger here. As you can see from the branding on the side, and it's a USB type A to type C and it includes the charging cable which again usb type a to type c and the phone now i'm going to take some stickers off here because you don't need to see all that stuff and here is the phone now the first thing you notice is the big slab up front it's got some fingerprints on it because i've been messing with it it has a screen protector pre-installed again something you don't see on a lot of american phones all the time got a curved screen on one side you got your power button and volume rockers and you see the antenna lines on the top you got your top firing speaker tuned by Harman Kardon your IR blaster and a microphone on this side you still got not you've got nothing but some antenna lines and on the bottom looks like another down firing speaker your USB type C another microphone and your sim tray on the back, this is what's interesting about this phone. So this is the big module. And what's interesting is what I've read, I don't know if this is true, but you would assume your main one inch sensor would be right here in the middle, but it's actually the one on the side. I believe that's the ultra wide and then the periscope is kind of hard to see. There's a little box down here. But as you can see the side of that, that protrudes a lot. So it's a big departure from their 11 Ultra last year where it had off to the side and it had a secondary screen, which was kind of cool. In my opinion, when I use it, I didn't really use it for anything. So no harm, no foul to me. But either way, people seem to complain a little bit about that. The back is like a leather material. I've never owned a phone with a leather back. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it still feels, you can see like the texture there. And that's the me. 12s ultra it's a pretty interesting phone i'm going to try to power it on it does it does come on let me just do a quick wipe down here see if i can get the screen to be not so smudgy and there you have it again this is the me 11 or me 12s ultra and it is their flagship this year uh, they have a whole line of these and as you can see it's already ready to go just swipe up i'm hope yeah, and there's your Google Play Store. So it is pre-installed on this version, but like, like I said before, a lot of Chinese phones do not have that pre-installed. And it's always suggested that you find a company to do it or try to learn how to sideload it, but you're still gonna have some issues probably with Google Pay or um, Duo may not work. Some of those more security-laced uh, Google Play apps may not work on a Chinese phone. But either way, I'm gonna test this thing out, throw a SIM card in there. If you guys wanna see some camera samples, hit me up down in the comments below. I'm thinking about doing a series now where I do an unboxing and then follow it up with a bunch of camera samples so people can see you know, how great or how bad the camera really is. But then again, this is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.